Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress Divi theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, in this tutorial, we're going to be creating these button groups here. There's one with a pop-up image and a pop-up video. And there's some that go up and some that go down here. And some circular buttons. I haven't linked those to anything. Divi in itself is a fantastic theme. It just keeps getting better and better. I've designed so many sites with it over the years. It's just crazy. Um, and if you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you take a look at it. You can take it for a test drive from my affiliate link below this video. But these buttons that we're building today, we're going to be using a free plugin. And the plugin's called Divi Supreme Modules. And if you go to your dashboard, to your plugins, just simply hit Add New and put the word Supreme in there and hit Enter. It'll come up right there, Divi Supreme Modules. And like I say, it's free. Mine's already active because I've got it installed on this site. But that's the plugin we'll be using for this video today. These buttons here, I've, I've just decided to make them pill shaped. Again, I've got a little hover effect. This time we're using anchor tags on the page. I've given it an anchor up here and an anchor down here. So I enable the visual builder again. And when I say I've given it an anchor tag, this section, the, the place where I want the button to actually go to, here's the row. I've gone in there, hit the little cog, gone into the row, gone through the advanced tab, CSS IDs and classes. I've given it a class of flip because they're the flips. You can give it whatever you want, but classes want to be unique. And I, I just gave it flip because I should be able to remember that, hopefully. And the other one, I did this one down here, I think it was this one down here. It might have been that one, but we'll see. I just called it bottom, or down at the bottom, which wasn't very thoughtful. No, that one's not it, obviously. Flip, that was the same. Ah. I probably need to get rid of that for confusion. Have a look down here. Bottom one. Yeah, that one. I gave it an ID of bottom. So let's just get rid of that one because that might cause an issue if we're not careful. We've got two CSS ID classes the same. There we go. And to create these, again, very simple. Just add a new module, go down to our Supreme Modules, Supreme Button, Button 1, I just called it 3. And the only thing we're really going to do different in this, I'm going to add a bit of custom CSS just to make these the same length as each other because the more letters you've got in there, the, the wider the button will be. OK, links, and here's how we link it to those anchor tabs. Top one was called flip. So it's a CSS ID, which is hashtag for an ID, and then the name flip. So that knows to go up to that anchor tag. URL wants to open in the same window, obviously. Button two, I want it to go down to the bottom one, which is bottom, funnily enough. Hashtag ID bottom. Same window, it's great. Now, separate. Let's move this out of the way. Yeah, I just used the bar as a separator. Quite often, a lot of people don't use that that character key. And if you don't know where it is, it's usually just above the enter key or the return key. If we're talking typewriters, okay. So, and it's usually shift right beside if you're using a US keyboard right beside the backspace. So I put that in there. 
that's all we need to do on that part. Again, we just need to nip over to the design tab, center align it, text again, I'm going to leave exactly the same, separator text. As you can see, when you open these text fields, you can put all kind of fonts in there. Divi comes with hundreds of font styles. It's crazy how many are in there, but uh, like I say, I'm not going to mess with that today. Okay, uh, so we put the separator in the separator font weight. Just see what we need to do. I've definitely got to make it bigger. So let's bring it up in size. Now I'm not going to mess with the font weight. And we just made it that blue color, the same as the buttons. All right, next thing that I want to do is make those buttons into sort of the pill shaped buttons. And again, with mine, I'm not going to use the little icons there. So what we need to do is go down to button one. Use custom styles, text size. I'm leaving alone. Button one color white again. As you can see, it's disappeared. Background color. Of course, you can have a gradient or, or an image, whatever you want, but uh, let's just give it a background color of blue. And again, we'll give the border color the same color, background border color. Now the border radius to get that sort of pill shape, I'm going to give it 50 pixels. And I just put in 50 and it automatically did it for me, which is great. Now we just need to go. Now, did I have a hover color? Yes, I did. I have a hover color. So let's click on the little arrow and put in the, the green hover color, hover, and then the color. Same up here, click on the little arrow, click on hover, put in the desired color for your hover. There we go. Okay, now same story for button number two. Button number two, use custom styles. Same thing, text color white, background color blue. While I'm here, I'll do the hover color, hover color green, and border width, blah, 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 border color, arrow, default is blue, hover state is green, and border radius, 50 pixels. There we go. So we've got our two buttons there. Now let's save that. Save and exit our Divi Builder. And there's our two buttons. They don't quite look like this. And I'm going to change that in a moment. If we click on the first one, it should go up there. Yeah. And I didn't turn the icons off, obviously. Click on the second one there, it goes down to the bottom. Great. But if you notice, they're not the same width. I kind of like those to be the same width. So we have to use a little bit of custom CSS for that. Very simple bit of CSS. So let's enable this, fix the errors that I forgot to do, like the box shadow. And also turning those icons off. I'll leave those icons on for a minute and just show you when we put a fixed width, it still works quite well. So let's just hit the edit text cog. And I just want to add a drop shadow to that. Or a box shadow, I should say. Button one. Text shadow, here's our box shadow, and I think I just used that one, was it? No, it wasn't that one. Yeah, that one. Okay, and we want to do the same for number two. There 
There we go. And it was that one. Fantastic. Now, what we're going to do is we want to set these at a fixed width. Now, you can do that. Let's just save this and exit. You can do that. In, you can put it in the page CSS, CSS if you want to, which is right here. If you click on that little cog, go with the advanced. Put your custom CSS here. But I usually like to put it in the theme options CSS purely because if I use these on a different page, then they won't do what I want them to do. So I'm going to put it in the option CSS. And to make that actually work, let's just shut that up. I want to give this a class so we can target this class. And those are the anchor tags within the class. So if I just click on that cog again, go to advanced CSS ID and classes. I'll call them uh, for expediency, just B2. I don't think I've got anything else as B2, hopefully. No, so this whole section right here has got a class of B2. Now, if we save and exit the Visual Builder once it's saved, I'm using Google Chrome here, which has got the, the great inspector on it. If I right click and go down to inspect, when I'm on those buttons, it should show me. Now we put in a class of B2, and if we look up here at the whole div itself, there it is, B2. So we need to target B2, and it's the, the actual button is the anchor tag itself, the A tag. So if we target class B2, A, we can make it do what we want to. And we're just gonna add a simple bit of CSS to tell it to be both buttons to be the same width. So all we've got to remember is B2 and A. Now if we go to our theme options, I'm on the general tab here, Divi theme options. And if I look up at the top there, we're on the general tab, down the bottom, you'll see this custom CSS box. And here's the ones I did earlier. But So we gave it the class of B2. So it's dot because it's a class B2. And we want to target the anchor tag, which is A for anchor tag. Open and close some curly brackets. And all we're going to do is simply give it a width. So width, I want it to be 120 pixels. Put a semicolon on the end in case we want to add some more. Now we want to save our changes till we get our little green check mark. Now let's go back to our page. Get that Chrome inspector out of the way. Now, when I refresh, you should see those become that size. You can make them bigger or smaller. I just happen to use 120. Let's refresh. There we go. And you can see they're both the same width there. Now, even when I hover over them, that icon, it doesn't change the actual width of the, the blue section or green section of the button. So quite useful for stuff like that, for making things look consistent. So that's to those two buttons. I guess we will check that they work. Top, yeah, that one works fine. Bottom, one works fine too. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there. We've also got some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.